All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Alpha Obeisance channel. This is a Noob's Guide to Hyperland, episode five. Um, in previous episodes, we've covered um, what is Hyperland, the configuration structure, as well as monitor setup and key bindings. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss auto start. If you'd like to follow along in a one-to-one -one ratio, and you'd like my dot files so you can follow along and apply my desktop build to your computer, feel free to download it in the link description below. If you do choose to do that, I recommend you start with episode one so that you can follow along. I teach you how to configure it for your system before you apply it so that you don't end up with a bunch of wonky uh, settings, wonky resolution, and so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah, this is my attempt to bridge the gap between power user and noob. I am actually developing this guide for my 14-year-old son who took an interest in Hyperland, but I can't get him to study for shit. So hopefully he'll find this entertaining enough to be willing to sit down and watch along and follow along in the configurations. I have micromanaged all configurations in such a way that not only is it clearly understandable as to what each configuration does, I have made sure that absolutely everything is extensively documented. I have yet to find anything regarding Hyperland that is quite uh, so thorough. We'll put it that way. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna address auto starting. The noob note is auto start applications. This section defines which applications and services will automatically start when you log into your system. It ensures essential services and apps are ready without manual input like video bridges, notification daemons, and uh, desktop tools. Um, tip, any apps you want to run at startup here, you can remove or adjust them as needed. So uh, by default, we have some system applications. I recommend you leave these alone, but I will explain what they do. You've got the X Waylon uh, video bridge. You're gonna have to forgive me for all my slurs. I'm incredibly tired. I've been working on these videos for hours. So <laughs> anyway, we've got exec once, meaning start it once equals X Wayland video bridge and so that sends it to the background and basically says hey I want you running but I don't want to know you're there. Uh, X Wayland bridge is a compatibility tool for running X11 and X org windows on Wayland. Next we've got WL paste this function disables middle click paste functionality to avoid accidental pasting. Uh, next, we've got System Control User Start Hyper Excuse me, Hyper Kit Agent, which is basically it manages your system privileges like authentication and stuff like that. So, if you want to be able to use your passwords for authenticating, then you're probably going to want to leave that alone. So, um, next, we're going to move on to desktop. These are applications that give a desktop-like experience with notifications, wallpapers, and lock screens. So, we've got Exec Once, Sway, and C. This is my chosen notification daemon you can change this to whatever you choose uh, if you happen to be familiar if you are truly a noob and you're following along with my build you're going to want to make sure that you install sway and uh, see i covered in a previous video that you're also going to want to install hyper paper a hyper idle and waybar um, in addition to that you'll also want hyper shot for a screenshot utility but hopefully you're following along in sequence so that's already been covered uh, Sway and C is our notification daemon. So if you get a notification from your system or maybe you get a text message through Signal, what have you, you get a notification, it'll pop up in the top right of the screen with your notification. We exec that once and send it to the background so that it's always running, always listening, ready to notify you when something happens. Hyper Paper. This launches to ensure that your default uh, wallpapers are initialized on boot. It's going to make sure that it preloads all the wallpapers and makes them readily accessible in the event that you use my uh, dynamic wallpaper switching setup. Next, we've got Hyper Idle, which basically starts the timer for Hyper Idle in the event that you are not using your computer for X amount of time. It will engage Hyper Lock, which you should also have installed. Uh, in which case, after that time has expired and you haven't touched your computer, it will generously lock your screen for privacy and security purposes. So, um, Waybar, that is um, irrelevant for my build, but if you have exec once equals Waybar and you have Waybar installed, it will actually initialize Waybar for you on boot. So, if you're, uh, you want that status bar, go ahead and install it, and that's where you will auto um, auto launch it on boot. It'll be readily available as soon as you log in. 
Last but not least, we've got applications. Uh, these are personal and uh, personal applications that you want just for convenience sake. So, for example, I like to have all my social apps open up. And they've already got window rules that send them to a specific workspace on a specific monitor. We will talk about that here soon. Uh, I like to have Signal Desktop and Beep Beep and what have you all launch on boot. So uh, this is where you set your default applications that you just want to be ready and waiting for you the moment you log in, whether it's your browser, your text editor, your terminal, what have you. So hopefully that explains the auto start section. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Any questions, comments, concerns, or corrections, drop them in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you found this useful. Let me and my son know I'm not as dumb as I look sometimes. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> if you like these videos, videos and you're finding them informative, consider smacking the subscribe button. Um, if you want to know when I drop new videos, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified on each drop. So look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Take care and God bless.